So I was called I was called to diagnose this vehicle and it's having no check engine light on. So when you turn it on, there is no check engine. Yeah. There is no check engine light. And you go to the system, you find out that they are having to fault code. But the main thing is the oil control valve. So these are the active code. When you raise them, because the vehicle is determined, it's able to know. So let me cycle the ignition. The check engine light is not coming on. So let me rescan it again. Afternoon, ma. When you rescan it again. Then the fourth code comes up, which is the oil control valve. The oil control valve, both the exhaust and the intake. So now what I'll do is I'll try and actuate them and see if they'll work. If they don't work, then I continue with my diagnosing. So go back, active. Oh, make no worry. Go back, then go to active test. So this is oil control valve intake and oil control valve exhaust. So I'll try and... I treat it and see if it will work. So there is the intake one, and the moment you click on start, it's supposed to be clicking, but this one is not clicking. And let me move to the exhaust also. Sorry for the glare. That's why I like doing my videos in the night. So stop and go to the exhaust. And also start it. And you can't hear any click. You can't hear any click now. So what I'll do is I'll just put in my test light. I'll I'll put in my test lamp and actuate it. If it is working, the test lamp will be just blinking. So I'll do that and continue. Okay, now to verify that the sensor is faulty or not, what I'll do is I'll test for power because with these sensors, anytime you turn the key on, there should be power on them. So I'll take the sensors out and test for power. Oh, really? So we'll take the sensors out and test for power. Then after that, I'll also test if the sensors are working. So for this one, now when I test for power, my test light turns on. So what I'll do is I have to find for one of the pin, which is power. So. So trying to test for power on this side, let me put in the pin first and test for the one which contains power. So when I place it in, I don't get any power coming out from it. That means there is no power on this side. So what I'll do now is, and when I test on this side too, there is no power on my test light. And this one too, there's no power on my test light. So what I'll do now is, I have to find for the power for this one. Then for this one also, there is the exhaust one. So that one I have to test for, which of them contains power. So we'll do that. And let me test for, and you can see that my test light is on. So this is the ground side, the control side. So I want to know if the control unit I want to know if the PCM is controlling it. So what I'll do is I'll go to exhaust. I'll check if I'm on the exhaust side here. Yeah, I'm on the exhaust side. So I'll activate it. And now my test light is on power. It's on power and this one will search for a ground. So if it starts to let the test light flash, then that means so you can see this one the test light is not flashing and there is no change in it so it could be that one <laughs> one side is having issue with power then the other side is having issue with ground so we'll see what i can do so now i'm using my multimeter to determine so what i've done now is sorry now i've used my scan to to activate the exhaust uh, the intake side 
because the intake we're not getting power so now i'm checking if i'll be getting ground because the other side too we're not getting ground so i'll plug in the pin then you can see my test light comes on and goes off which is pausing because of the control unit uh, because of the scan tool commanding it on and off so that means on the intake side i'm lacking ground uh, sorry on the intake side i'm lacking power and the other side i'm lacking ground from the control board so i'll recheck something here i'll go back and check again and see if i can get power if i can get back power on the other side again so it is repop a person so let me see if i place it in light is going to come and there is no light so that means the ground is having an issue somewhere it's not getting to the sensor so it could be that the sensor is not faulty so what i'll do is i'll rather ground the intake side and see if i treat it i'll get the sensor to pause so i'll do that and if it does that then that means i have to treat for power and i'll also try and find for ground for the exhaust side maybe it's a broken wire somewhere so i'll try and find it so now what i'll do is because i know the control side so i'll try and find for power for the sensor and see if the sensor is working so I, when I use the test light, because the test light current, because the sensor draws in current more than the test light, so the test light will rather be flashing. The moment I set my attuation, I start my attuation. So you can see the test light is rather flashing instead of the sensor because the sensor draws in more current than the test light. So what I'll do is I'll give it direct power. So I'll turn off the attuation. On my scan tool then give it direct power because I know this one the power is fused so I'll give it direct power and then I'll, I'll start my attuation so you can hear it clicking that means the attuator is working so now it's left with the back one the back one that's where I have to trace and find out where the cable is shortened then I'll continue the diagnosing. So now I know my sensor is working, but just that I'm lacking power. So I'll try and trace and see where the actual problem is. And I'll rectify it out. So now that I've given it power, let me stop it and go and read the fourth code again. Because I've given it power, so now the fourth code that I'll be getting will be a history fourth code. So now let me go back and go to fourth code. So I have to get the intake fault code history. And you can see now I'm having an history. The intake fault code is history because now I've given it power. So if I raise it, so if I raise it and scan it again, it will be only the exhaust that is going to appear. Let me recycle the English again and turn it back on and read the fault code again and i'm going to get the fourth code on the ezos okay so that means it is power side from it and the other side is losing control side so i'll, I'll do the diagnosing properly i'll tell the customer the issue and if he's willing for me to repair it then i'll continue with the video thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos